All right, it's Friday. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets. And Jim, we are following this UK election news. It's pretty incredible. Theresa May may not. I mean, it's rather extraordinary. It was probably one of the great gaffes of all time uh, calling this election. Uh, I think she'll be out. Uh, but what's even more important is that it's not a ripple in the market. There was a time, of course, with Brexit where when people were wrong, uh, the market went down. I think that what's happened is not that we're ignoring it. I think there's a recognition that polling is is no longer valid. And the idea that May uh, had a big majority or, and then it turns out that she didn't, didn't shock anyone because the uh, faith in polling has been lost and everything's considered to be a crapshoot. And so therefore, it's uh, no one makes big bets anymore. So there's no bets to unwind, which means it didn't have any impact. All right, let's talk about stocks to watch. Uh, to watch. Jim, I think the, the talk of the morning is you're changing your name to NVIDIA. I have to. I mean, you know, sometimes I, I have changed my name periodically. I was called Google for a long time. Uh, I was Fang for a while. Okay, let's understand NVIDIA. NVIDIA is in the middle of all of, of everything. It's uh, e it's esports and gaming. You have to have their chip in order to win, okay? It is autonomous driving. They absolutely have the best chips for autonomous driving. I know Google, Waymo would uh, probably fight me on that, but that's you know, the word. But then the most important thing, it, data server, uh, the, the, the whole uh, data farm issue, we saw the, this combination overnight uh, with DuPont Fibros we bought. They have a chip that is uh, equal to 400 servers. One box, 400 servers with an NVIDIA chip that comes out this fall. By the way, AMD is mm. Google's partner against uh, trying to have two sources of data, form, of data chips and so it's AMD versus NVIDIA. That's why NVIDIA can keep going up. It's also AMD versus NVIDIA in graphical uh, processing, which is the um, uh, gaming. So that's why AMD can keep climbing here. I've been liking AMD and NVIDIA for a very long time. I have said that periodically their stocks go up too much and you get a consolidation. Those are winners. All right, speaking uh, of the tech space, uh, SoftBank to acquire Boston Dynamics you from see Alphabet. here, again, Boston Dynamics, were they, were they um, earnings focused enough or were they dreamers? Uh, Ruth Porat, who is maybe the, most, the best CFO in America, uh, is trying to get it so that Google, uh, wait, that Google's Alphabet division, the Moonshot division, that people still have a hope of making money. I wonder what they're going to do with Verily, which is their health division there. Uh, but uh, that's why Waymo, I've said, is worth uh, 70 billion. It's why Alphabet's one of the large positions that we have for action alerts. Uh, so uh, I guess my thinking here is, and I understood that trade was going to occur, that they weren't making money. And Ruth Porat is now saying, listen, I need money being made by these moonshots. All right, let's move on to Snap getting downgraded by City. Now, I, look, I look at that, and remember, it, with, in that uh, are two things. One is that the new campaigns don't seem to be doing, uh, they're having trouble getting new advertisers. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, there is a dramatic increase in the float, almost you know, not, not 900 million shares, more than 900 million shares coming to the market in August. They're theorizing that given the fact that the stock has not done well, that that will actually produce sellers. Uh, I don't disagree with that. Mm -hmm. Here's an interesting wrinkle to Amazon, a small business lender? Yeah, now it's interesting. The best small business lender is Square. They lend against the cash receipts. I use Square at Bar San Miguel. Now, we don't need cash, but we use their, we use their um, caviar division for takeout. Um, but and the reason, there are two reasons why Square is moving up. One is people are theorizing that Amazon's going to buy them. And the other one is that people theorize that Jack Dorsey's going to leave and put it in the hands of Sarah Fryer, their brilliant CFO, whom I just adore. So it's entirely possible that there is something going on at Square as a read through with Amazon. They are the small business lender of the future. That's the one I like. Now I'm looking, just so people know, I'm saying that AMD is better than people think and Square is better than people think as read throughs to these issues about Nvidia and about Amazon. Okay, let's also talk about Sirius making an investment in Pandora. I think that pretty much is, uh, now you're in a Live Nation phase. That's what they did with Live Nation. Uh, remember, Sirius is, you're talking about John Malone, you're talking about Greg Maffei. He's brilliant. Greg Maffei always gets his man, so to speak. I have loved Greg uh, since I had a, you know, my old hedge fund. Uh, but Pandora's, I think, is now capped. And people who own Pandora move on to find the next thing. All right, Jim, we're looking forward to your AAP call next week. Yes, and Wednesday, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, some personal reflections about what you do in a situation where things are, are 
unsettled in Washington, even as we're ignoring them right now, because I think the market's saying there are so many good stocks, um, a la Nordstrom. Hey, by the way, I'm not so sure, as I wrote in Real Money this morning, that the, that the Nordstrom family is in sellers. They could be sellers. Everyone thinks they want to double down. I wonder whether they're trying to be like Belks. We don't know. I do believe a Nordstrom deal does get done. I do believe they're private equity firms that want to be in there. That's the kind of thing that makes me say, listen, maybe Washington doesn't matter as much, given the fact that you have even retail. Remember, the bear markets are retail, oil, okay, where I expect to start seeing deals. I do. And banking. The banking bear market seems to be reading a you know, little bit of conclusion. We have an action alert bulletin out this morning. But more important, I want to emphasize that uh, Rusty Brazil and I, who is RBN Energy, he is just our... Uh, Energy.com, be doing a seminar with him next week. He's the greatest oil man in terms of knowledge. He's he has a piece out today about who's making the most money with oil at these prices, okay? And it's our oil position, Apache. They were making, I don't even care that, I mean, they have this Alpine high. It's not even in what, I, what we own it for, but Apache is the most lucrative oil company on the planet right now. And people say that we should throw it out. And not. And the other one that we're, I'm going to talk about, of course, is Snap One, where there's a raid every single day. We're holding off buying because the raid is so fer ferocious that I just don't want to throw good money after bad. Right now, they'll come a level. So all these will be discussed on our conference call next Wednesday. You've got to be on it. All right, so go to actionalertsplus.com for more information on that. Thank you. Jim Kramer, thank, thank you, you so much, much as buddy. always. All right, and for more of the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.